Hey friends, so I've been in China for about seven months now and never in my life have I experienced culture shock the way I experienced it here in China. So I wanted to share some of my experiences with you. Yeah. The first culture shock I experienced was the toilets. Some of you may be wondering, what's wrong with the toilets? Isn't it just a regular toilet? And my answer to you would be, no, it's not. It's not just a regular Western toilet. 90% of the places you go to use a bathroom in China will have what you call a squatter. Some people call them squatty potties, but it's basically a hole in the ground where you squat real low and you release quickly, very quickly. If you're ever grocery shopping, you may come across some food that we might deem as strange. Yes, such as packaged chicken feet, quail eggs, maybe even a frog, and some cute turtles. Personal space, or lack thereof. In China, there are roughly 1.3 billion people, so there isn't much space to move anywhere. I'm not even joking. I wish I was joking. But um, you go to the grocery store, someone's gonna be behind you. You're on the bus, the bus is the worst. The bus, you're, someone's always on you. You're just like, I can't breathe. Like, there, there's no space. There's, people, people don't know what personal, what's personal space is. What you know back home is not the same here. So get used to it. Pictures, pictures, and more pictures. People will literally run up to you and take your picture. The moment you land in China, you are an instant celebrity. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get paid for this, but I'm telling you, the amount of pictures that you will be asked for and autographs, you'll be like, am I Beyonce? Or am I Jay-Z? Am I Rihanna? Maybe I'm Rihanna. Maybe they think I'm Rihanna. But I don't look like Rihanna. I mean, we both have a big forehead. But that's it. Spit. There's spit everywhere everywhere. You look down, there's spit there. There's, there's going to be spit beside you. Everyone spits here. The young man, the old man, the young lady, the old lady, the very, very old lady. And the spitting isn't just like your normal, like, you know, it's like, it's like they're trying to remove something from their toes. So it sounds more like, wait, hold on. So in China, jaywalking is normal, and I mean like normal. The cars always have the right of way, not the pedestrians, the cars. And there are going to be times where you're crossing the road and you're like, oh my god, I must be in a video game right now. I must be in like a Grand Theft Auto video game because I'm trying not to get hit by a bus or a car or a taxi or a taxi is a car. Whatever, you get my point. So what I'm saying to you is that if you don't know how to jaywalk by now, you can come to China and learn. Very, very quickly. Anyways guys, that's what I've experienced so far when it comes to culture shock in China. And um, maybe you guys have experienced something different or maybe you're gonna be coming to China soon um, and you'll experience some of these things. So it's just a warning, I'm just telling you, I love this country, but there are just some things that aren't the same like they are at home. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and stay restless, peace. Hey friends, if you wanna keep up with my journey, Follow my blog, www.restlessfeet.co. And don't forget to subscribe. That I'm actually sitting here right now in my own apartment in a foreign country. It's kind of amazing.